During a news conference for the Western and Southern Open, Naomi Osaka put her head down and was fighting back tears after a reporter asked Osaka's training for the upcoming hard court season was progressing and for her thoughts on the events in Haiti where a 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck on Saturday. Osaka's father is a native of Haiti and she pledged to donate her winnings from the tournament to help the country. Just prior to that question, she was asked a triggering question by a Cincinnati Enquirer reporter. We have that presser. Let's listen in now. Here's Naomi. It's Paul Doherty from the Cincinnati Enquirer. Let's follow up on that last question. Um, you're, you're not crazy about dealing with, with, with us, especially in this format, yet you have a lot of outside interests that are, that are served by having a media platform. I guess my question is, how do you balance the two? And, and also, do you have anything you'd like to share with us about what you did say to Simone Biles? Um, when you say I'm not crazy about dealing with you guys, what does that refer to? Well, you've said you, you don't especially like the press conference format. And yet that seems to be the, the obviously the most widely used means of communicating to the media and through the media to the public. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, I would say the occasion, like when to do the press conference is what I feel is the most difficult. But... Hmm. Sorry, I'm thinking. Um... I think we can move on to the next question, Naomi. Do you want to move on to the next question? Um, no, I'm actually very interested in that like point of view. So if you could repeat that, that'd be awesome. Uh, the question was that you're not especially fond of, uh, of dealing with the media, especially in this format. You have suggested there are better ways to do it, that, that we'd like to try to explore that. Uh, my, my question, I guess, was you also have uh, outside interests beyond tennis that, that are served by having uh, the, the platform that the media presents to you. My, uh, my question is, how, how are you able, how do you think you might be able to best balance the two? Um, I mean, for me, I feel like this is something that I can't, I can't really speak for everybody. I can only speak for myself, but ever since I was younger, I've had a lot of media interest on me. And I think it's because of my background as well as, you know, how I play. Um, because in the first place, I'm a tennis player. That's why a lot of people are interested in me. So I would say in that regards, I'm quite different to a lot of people and I can't really help that there are some things that I tweet or some things that I say that um, kind of create a lot of news articles or things like that. And I know that it's because I've won a couple Grand Slams um, and I've gotten to do a lot of press conferences that these things happen. Um, but I would also say, like, I, I'm not really sure how to balance it too, like I'm figuring it out at the same time as you are, I would say. Thank okay, you. thank you, Paul. We've got, we're gonna do four more questions or four more journalists. We're gonna go Courtney, Jeff, Stuart, and then Ben Rothenberg. So Courtney, please go ahead and state your name and publication, please. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Courtney Nguyen, WTA Insider. Uh, hello, Naomi. Hopefully it's okay if I ask a couple of tennis questions. Um, the first one is just uh, uh, how the training has been and how your preparation has been for the for the summer hard court swing. And the second one is just related to your tweet over the weekend uh, related to what's going on in Haiti. Um, and, uh, and yeah, um, just what your reaction is to the news there. Thank you. Um, Sorry. No, you're super good. Okay, I think we're just going to take a quick break. Just uh, we'll be back in one moment.
Osaka's agent was quick to stand up for his client, issuing a statement through a freelance reporter for the New York Times. The bully at the Cincinnati Enquirer is the epitome of why player media relations are so fraught right now. Everyone on that Zoom will agree that his tone was all wrong and his sole purpose was to intimidate. Really appalling behavior and this insinuation that Naomi owes her off-court success to the media is a myth. Don't be so self-indulgent.